Hi, we're here with Randy today with Atlas Knife and Tool. We're going to show how to light a Graham Forge. First we have our forge, our blowtorch, it's hooked up to the propane. Well, let's uh, go ahead and install the burner first. We've marked a two inch mark on the burner so we know how far in it needs to go. There we go. Hand tight's plenty there. We'll set our fan to about halfway. We'll light our blowtorch. Hold it in the front in the chamber. And slowly turn on gas until it lights. Starting to get some gas in there. A little more. A little more. All right, once you have a stable flame, yep, you're good. We're going to leave it at this for probably 10 to 15 minutes until it starts to soak up the chamber, at which point it will start, what it's doing, the moisture that's in the atmosphere soaks into the bricks. And when they, the moisture comes out, when the flame hits it, it tends to try to extinguish the flame, causes it to run real choppy. So once it dries out, you'll notice a difference in the flame behavior. It will uh, run a lot smoother. Then once it's warmed up, you come down, slow increments, adjustments to your air and your gas, but not until it's warmed up and soaked. All right, we're back. It's been about five or six minutes. We've increased the gas all the way up. Air's gone a little higher. We've got a nice stable blue flame in there. See as we have more gas, it'll get hotter, but it will cause more scale. Just slightly reducing there, goes to bluish green. Right there is just about right. All right, we've turned off the gas. We have left the fan running on full to cool down the chamber. If you don't, the heat will come right back down the burner tube and melt everything.